Well, the way it works in reality is your genes determined your face, so yes. it's not like a, a wild stretch of the imagination that it might be doable. So the way we're getting at it is we have a series of cameras that take a 3D photograph uh, of, of faces. They measure about 30,000 unique measurements. Uh, you can think of things just the distance between your eyes, other just physical parameters. And then we look in the genome for those 30,000 measurements to see if we can find uh, parts of the genetic code that clearly determine that factor. So at my company, Synthetic Genomics, we have a major program with United Therapeutics to try and change the pig genome so that pig organs, hearts, lungs, kidneys, uh, can be used for organ transplantation. About a million people die in the U.S. each year due to the lack of organs uh, for transplantation. The, the pig organs, particularly the heart and lungs, are about the same size as human organs. And if we can change a number of genes so they have human genes and human proteins, the notion it will uh, allow them to be transplanted without massive uh, rejection. Our, our goal is healthy lifespan, a health span versus trying to make people just live longer. Uh, we need to think carefully about society consequences of all of a sudden we all start living to 125. Uh, we're overusing the planet's resources now, so we need to learn how to do reusing, recycling, uh, a renewable lifestyle versus uh, just a consumption one. But we have to change what we do uh, before just making people live longer. It changes the economy, it changes people's quality of life. Uh, if they can live whatever a normal, normal lifespan is uh, without uh, massive disease. Uh, we all know people with cancer, with heart disease, the impact on their families, on their society around them. Um, if that can be postponed or eliminated, uh, it has a huge impact on humanity.